I had another phone call again. So, back to Sandy. <laughs> looking for if you look you see how it's glossy down at the end and it's not right here so this surface is all scratched up way up close that's gonna be our bonding surface this is why I don't use primer because primer is just bonding to the same thing and your paint is bonding to the primer it's, it's no if you're gonna sand uh, before you primer you're, you're just adding an extra step some people want to um, I mean you can use it it's fine but for me it's an extra step that I don't feel is necessary. Use it if you want to, I'm not slamming you. But, um, if you, if you can see, yeah, you can see how it's glossed, how it's glossy down there and it's scuffed up right here. Let me get all this dust out of the way. There you go. Now you can see. So that's what it's, that's what it's gonna stick to. We don't have to sand all the way down to the wood. In fact, if you sand down to the wood, you have to worry about bleeds. Um, which I don't think I'm going to have to worry about on this because it's already got this old school finish on it and that's <laughs> nice, uh, nice thick finish. So okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, doing the sanding. Um, I'll probably just go around and finish the whole thing without stopping from, from here on out unless I have to change a pad. <laughs> like this like I said earlier instead of wood filling it I could just blend it so um, feather it so basically what you do is you just start sanding at the edge and then work your way up like this and it'll it'll just kind of feather out and smooth out <laughs> there that's nice and smooth it looks ugly now but it's smooth So see, this has got gummed up again. Um, I'll go ahead and change it out. That way we don't run into the same problem. I mean, it sanded just fine, but it's about time to change it out. You can also like turn your sander on and get a flathead screwdriver and poke at these and it comes off, but it takes a while.
fixed. So a lot of people ask me what about like the details. Um, I don't really get down and mess with all this by hand. It's like your finish is going to be bumped off by um, people running into it and things like that. And people's, you know, people might rub their leg up against this right here or this right here or kick at this. Um, but they're not going to be getting into this groove. So I don't worry about it. We know it's real clean. Um, I make a quick pass at it with my with my sander, but no, we're not going to get in there and, and uh, sand every little bit for an hour. have a lot of chipping we can just feather those out there, see now it's nice and smooth it's like the opposite of wood filling except it's faster sanded we'll have to come back and pre-treat them for bleeds um, probably leave it alone and let it bleed that way I can show people what I'm talking about when I say bleed I'll go over it later